If you're looking to get a flat stomach, here's one thing that you probably aren't aware of. You're not going to get a flat stomach by doing ab workouts. Let's get to it. What's going on you guys? Hey, having those flat abs is such a common goal. One of the most common goals that we all have when we're getting into fitness and we're getting into health is getting that flat stomach. We kind of have no idea how to get there. And the truth is, a lot of people that I know, they think that getting there takes doing more abs, doing more of an ab workout. Every time they ask me, what they can do to work out, they say, I, I, want, I want to get a flat stomach. What can I do for my abs? And when I give them a little prescription, they get a little confused because a lot of it doesn't necessarily have to do with their abs. Here's something that's important. No matter how much muscle you get in your abs, it's not going to be seen when it's covered with a layer of fat. If you have nice muscular abs and you have a layer of fat over the top of it, you're never going to see those abs. So here's the way that I recommend that you get to the point where you're able to see your nice flat abs. First, you definitely need to start working on large muscle groups. The reason why you should be working on large muscle groups is because these large muscle groups burn more calories throughout the day. By burning more calories, you're gonna be burning more fat. What are these large muscle groups? They are your upper back, your lats, they are your pecs, they are your quads, your hammies, and of course, your glutes. Five very large muscle groups that you definitely should be focusing on in order to build up and burn more calories throughout the day. What are some exercises you guys can do to utilize these large muscle groups? Some very common ones are the bench press, squats, deadlifts, pull-ups or a lat pull-down, leg press. All of these exercises are gonna build up your larger muscle groups and allow you to burn more calories. A big focus if you want to get that flat stomach is your posterior chain. Posterior chain are things connected in your posterior from your calves going to your hammies to your glutes to your erector muscles in your lower back up to your upper back. Now why is this important? It's because in your erector muscles, in your posterior chain, that allows your posture to pull your body more upright. If you do all bench press, if you do all stuff in your frontal plane here, you're gonna have rolled shoulders, rounded back, and that causes this little hunch in your stomach. Whereas if you pull everything upright and back, then you're gonna be able to lengthen your abs and it'll give that good length look with the lines in your side, etc. once you're able to eliminate that fat. Posterior chain exercises. I highly recommend such things as a deadlift. If you're not comfortable with a barbell deadlift, I definitely would recommend doing some kind of a modification of a deadlift, whether it's a straddle deadlift, sumo deadlift, a kettlebell deadlift, all right, to really focus on that posterior chain. Deadlifting with your hip hinging going back, Lifting up is going to cause your posture to be more upright and get more focus on your posterior chain. Along with building up your large muscle groups, one thing that you're gonna have to do, the second tip I have for you is nail down your diet and nutrition. Now I said the D word, I don't like diets. All right, diet is a word that I'm not the biggest fan of because there's so many fad diets out there. And the problem with fad diets is that fad diets get you fit for a certain amount of time until you stop doing them. And then there's always a relapse and you bounce away, you bounce far from where you were. That's why I think it's important to have a lifestyle change with your nutrition. You need to start cutting out certain bad foods and putting them into modifications or eliminations. Starting with what I would say, fried foods and sugary drinks. Those would be the first two that I would focus on in order to progress into a long-term improvement for your health and lifestyle. Along with 
focusing on large muscles, and eating right. The last thing I wanna add is what I'm sure you guys are all aware of, but you're gonna have to get some form of cardio to burn those extra calories. And it doesn't have to be go on a six mile run. Your cardio could be interval training while you're working out those large muscle groups. That's personally, that's what I do. I work on interval training and I go from station to station without stopping, heart rate goes up and I burn a ton of calories and I get my cardio in while I'm lifting weights. I'm not one to go out and go for a five mile run. I feel like that's not very beneficial for me because I really want to build my muscle and burn fat while incorporating my cardiovascular system. So I recommend doing some interval training and to get yourself moving as much as you possible because the more you move, especially with these larger muscles being utilized, the more calories you're going to burn. You don't have to do abs to be able to see your abs. You have to get rid of the flabs to see your abs. So make sure that your focus is burning more calories by utilizing large muscle groups, eating right, and making sure that you're doing what you can to burn more calories. If you guys need any more help with training, if you need any kind of nutrition advice or something of that sort, I'd love to chat with you. Hit me up and let's see what we can go and get you on the right path. See if I can help you, see if I can help you where you're at. Because trust me, I know working full-time jobs, having kids, having family, it's hard to fit that puzzle piece of yourself in there in order to get a flatter stomach, in order to work on your overall health and longevity. If you have questions, I'd love to help you out. Keep rocking, you guys. Get those, burn those flabs and turn them down into those abs. Rock it out.